Hey guys, Lil Spoon here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. We are back today with another episode of our fairy tale zoo. Today we are moving away from the Shipwreck Cove area and building a habitat for our timber wolves. It's a little bit more uh, tr in a traditional fairy tale style because what says wolves better than Little Red Riding Hood? So here you see me building what I'm calling grandmother's house. It's a little one-room cabin in the middle of the woods, just big enough for a little old lady whose grandmother or whose granddaughter, excuse me, occasionally comes to visit. I wanted it to look really rustic and really simple. I also uh, have planned this to be a little area where the wolves themselves can go when they need some privacy from the guests, and it will also hide the uh, keeper's entrance to the habitat so that the guests, you know, don't lose that sort of immersive experience that I'm really going for in this zoo. As a special treat at the end of this video, I'm going to be walking you through the guest areas that I've been working on uh, in front of the castle or well, behind the castle, I guess. Uh, you'll see them in the background a little bit during this speed build. I did not record any of the building that I did for those for those areas only because I tore them down and rebuilt them dozens and dozens and dozens of times trying to get the look I was going for. Uh, I think it all paid off in the end though because I am so, so proud of what I have done there. I hope you stick around through the end of the video and enjoy, and enjoy watching the wolves get their happy home. And I will be back in a few minutes to take you through the Timberwolf habitat as well as the fairy tale guest area. Enjoy!
guys. So here you've got grandmother's cabin all completed with uh, some of Red's laundry out to dry on the line in front. I just love the little window box and that window in there. We've got some really happy wolves. A couple of them have already had babies. They've only been in there for a day or two, so you know, they're getting busy. I love the way this exhibit looks with the castle in the back. It's so magical and you've got that whole fairy tale village which we're going to take a look at in just one second. Can't see. Here we go. Okay, so here we have Belle's cabin inspired by Beauty and the Beast. And there's three uh, restaurants concealed in there. I, I love this one so much with the well in front and the sort of crooked chimneys that you just know were built by her kooky, kooky father. Uh, this shop here is inspired by the uh the merlin's magic shop in i believe disneyland paris and we've got some arches and some walls on either side so that the guests can't see one themed area from the one next to it just to sort of create an immersive guest experience uh this next building oops what am i doing okay so this next building here on the left um is just sort of a generic like D, &D type cat uh tavern uh, it's got a souvenir shop and some restrooms concealed inside. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments what you think, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.